So it's been a whopping 15 days since my last tutorial, and in this time, I've racked up 500 subscribers. So thanks, guys. And today, I figured I'd give you something really special. Um, this whole tutorial is going to be on compiling your map, and this is a very big part of it. First thing that we're going to go over is just basically how and what happens when you press run map and hammer. So I'm open up hammer, and I'm going to open up a map really quick. And there's three main processes that your map goes through when you compile it. There's VBSP, VVIS, and VRAD. Now, the V stands for valve. They put the, if, if something has V in front of it, it typically means valve. So what VBSP does, it's a command line tool that, conver that converts the raw VMF, so what Hammer reads, into a BSP, or binary space partition. And then, the following steps take place, and those are VVIS. And what VVIS does is it looks at your map, and it only looks at what's solid world geometry. It doesn't look at props, models, funk brush, funk detail. It only looks at world brush. So then it's like, how can I make this map run better? I need to fill it with viz leaves. So it goes through and it fills your maps with these objects called viz leaves and you can learn more about those in the optimization tutorial or you can go to the valve developer community wiki and do a search on vviz i'll put all the links in the little sidebar wherever they want to call it now and the last step which typically takes the longest and people are like oh hammer's just kind of sitting here stuck on this it's been here for two hours what's going on this is the vrad step it's also called, it, it's lighting. It stands for, it's, it's radiosity simulator. What the VRED does is it, it looks at your map like this, in the light map grid. Again, it doesn't really look at props, but it does put shadows for them. For casting lights and shadows on your map, it looks at it how this view I have right now. It processes which what every one of these little squares is going to look like from the light entities. And then after it's done that, it puts all the information into the map file and packages it and sends it on your way. Now, there are ways to make this run faster and you can play your map quicker. The main thing is to put your vertex points on grid. That'll also be in more optimization tutorials that I will make. So, there's also different tools that you can use to compile and there's different settings. Depending on the settings that you use, the map will either compile slower or faster. If you go to your run map, you'll have the normal run map setting. And under run BSP, you usually just want to keep that on normal, because converting the map to a BSP doesn't take much time at all. The longest I've ever seen would be about 30 seconds. The visibility can take a long time or a short amount of time, depending on how your map is made. If you know how to use funk detail, you should be pretty good on this. But the V, but rad, is what takes the longest time of all. Because it's calculating all your lighting. Now, if you do f fast viz, what that does is it makes a first quick pass. It doesn't test anything, it just fills it and sends it on its way. If you do it on normal, it fills it and then looks at it and tries to refine it a little bit. With the V rad, it does a quick lighting. It just goes over the map really quick to get a lighting done so you can see what it looks like. You don't want to ship your map like this. That's not a good idea. It looks kind of cheesy. HDR is called High Dynamic Range. What HDR does is it puts that glowing effect. So if you're walking through a dark tunnel and then you go outside, you get blinded by the light. It's kind of like real life, but it kind of was a flop in Counter-Strike because people didn't like it and people who play Counter-Strike typically don't have good computers. So it's kind of a wash. Now, those compile tools are all good and fun, but if you go to the expert, you do have more options. You'll see you'll have a lot of main lighting ones that come here that come with it. There's the default, that's the equivalent of running everything on normal. The expert mode, I mean the fast is the same as running everything on fast. And you'll see you can run map, you can run map in engine full screen and windowed. Sometimes you'll get an error saying that the game is not available when you go to launch it. You can use hammer to launch it instead. There's only entities, and this is typically what you want to ship your map with if you're using this compiler. The dash final 
This means that it's going to take a very long time to compile. What it does is it makes very it, it spends a lot of time rendering the lighting. It your your CPU spends more time firing the rays from the lights to give you a better and more realistic effect. That's why they have the slow there. So just keep that in mind. Now, I don't like to use this compiler anymore, so I'm gonna try to get all you guys to use the new compiler that I got from a friend. So it's called the Valve Batch Compiler Tool. There's a link in the sidebar to where you can download it. So you just extract it and then you can run it. And it'll open up. And it's just this window. It's pretty straightforward in what you do and what you use. If you have SDK open, it'll try to auto detect what game you're using. And if you change the game configuration, you need to restart the compiler tool. You can hit this little over arrow, and it will show you how long that compile took. It's a really nice thing if you want to like time yourself, like so you can get your compile done. Now with this compiler, there's three compile steps that you can do. There's fast, full, and final. The fast one, I don't recommend using. It only sets viz to fast. So if you're looking for a fast compile, just do it in hammer with fast everything. The final is what you want to ship your map with. Full is what I use for my testing, personally. And you just hit open and file. And you just browse for your map. So I'll open Sylvan just to show you guys. You just go to my maps folder here. And load it up. Now I'll see map file selected. And there's no custom profile to load for the map. So what you can do now is there's profile management. And you can edit profiles and create custom profiles based on whatever map you have loaded. And you can view and hammer and launch game. So this was just a brief overview on the compile process steps and this new compiler. Stick around for the rest of this tutorial. There will be a couple more parts. I'm going to go over how to reduce compile times, faster ways to compile, and the best ways to compile. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.